Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval, and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios bulletin for today, July 17, 2018. In the foreign exchange markets, uh, the Mexican peso got depreciated given an appreciation of the US dollar, specifically measured by the Bloomberg dollar spot with an increase of 0.44%. This was due to the message of uh, Jerome Powell, president of the Federal Reserve in the United States, to the US Congress who said that he's optimistic uh, or he made an optimistic assessment of the U.S. economy, reinforcing expectations of higher rates. This means uh, decreasing the spread of the rates between the U.S. and Mexico in the future and therefore a depreciation. Obviously, there will be reactions and different scenarios in the future, but at least as a forecast, it provides this interpretation by the markets. In the Forex market, there was a, take, a profit taking against opposite signals or given opposite signals. And in the US specifically, some indicators were not as good as could be expected. Industrial production, a little bit over the expectations, but the data for May was revised down. All went up and Banco de Mexico exchange hedges were uh, demanded 2.85 times to 62 days which implies similar volatility than yesterday, so there's not an increase, at least, of it. It was more due to these Fed comments rather than internal elements in Mexico or other ones like trade war issues that were not, at least, in the newsstand today. The support was 1850 and to 1860 as a range, and the resistance 1930 pesos per dollar in the wholesale market. The spread, same as yesterday, 1.11 pesos and in the futures there was no change uh, regarding yesterday the linear trend anyways keeps going down for the following 30 days uh in the inter exchange rate with uh, an analysis of 12 months uh beforehand and then 30 days afterhand uh, in the case of uh, the monetary policies or the elements for the money markets these comments of Jerome Powell say basically that the economy will enjoy solid labor and well, it will get inflation close to 2% target for several years uh, without considering trade war specifically. Although his words are considered pro-accelerated normalization processes, he emphasizes that they will continue to increase uh, the rate gradually. The crossroads, if the rate rises too slowly, and it will generate inflation or excess in financial markets for a mix. In the other hand, an accelerated rise in, in rates can weaken the economy. He basically said about the trade war that there's not enough information and it's difficult to predict what will occur, so the risks are more or less balanced. But obviously, a strong rate uh, or a strong trade war, uh, which could be stopped by this demand at the World Trade Organization by Mr. Donald Trump and the United States basically would imply a situation to freeze it. But in the meantime, if comments are still being issued, if uh, elements of like uh, more tariffs are issued in retaliation, in retaliation or against those countries demanded, well, obviously there will be an increase of the fear of slow. Of, of slowing the, the growth of the economy worldwide and specifically countries like China or regions like the European Union that are declaring deceleration in certain processes of their economy. So obviously it won't be a good stand for the rest of the world and obviously because the US is part of the rest of the world even when they not normally understand it that way, well, they will run also those risks. Basically, this is what we have of information for today. All markets were up as steady but up and we'll see more information about them tomorrow. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.